Hello, my name is Megan McCormick, a physical therapist from Barnes Jewish Hospital. Today I will go through your required exercises needed before and after your hip replacement surgery. Having the best strength for your new joint begins now. I encourage you to pause the video when needed and practice each exercise individually. In addition, please remember to consult your physician before starting this exercise program. Today we have one of our former patients who will demonstrate the exercises. Hello, my name is Chris Simons. I am 48 years old. Currently, I am 26 weeks post-surgery and credit my successful recovery to not only the care I received from my Washington University orthopedic physician, but the vigorous rehab schedule that I followed. We will now be demonstrating ankle pumps. This exercise can be performed in sitting or while lying down. Knees may be bent or straightened. If you keep your knees straight, you will feel a better stretch in your calf muscles on the back of your leg. Bend and straighten your ankles slowly. Move through the full range of motion from pointing toes like a ballerina to pulling toes up toward the body, feeling the stretch in the back of your calves. Be sure to move at the ankle joint, not just your toes. Remember to do 10 repetitions of each exercise two times a day. We will now demonstrate glute sets or buttock squeezes. Lie on your back in bed with both legs fully extended straight and supported in the bed. Squeeze your buttocks or butt cheeks firmly together. You should see your pelvis lift upward during this movement. Hold for five seconds, then relax your buttocks. Do not hold your breath during the five second hold. Do not tilt your hips forward or contract your abdominals. Remember to do each exercise 10 repetitions two times per day. We will now be demonstrating heel slides. Lie on your back in your bed with your legs extended. Keep your heel in contact with the bed as you slowly slide your heel up toward your buttock while bending your knee up. Keeping your heel on the bed will ensure you are not bending your hip more than 90 degrees. Your knee can either stay midline and point up toward the ceiling, or you may pull the knee up and away from your body. Using a slick surface, such as a cookie sheet beneath your heel, helps to decrease the friction between you and the bed, making the movement easier. Remember to do 10 repetitions of each exercise two times a day. The next exercise is the leg side slide. Following surgery, you will perform this exercise in bed. Today, Chris will be demonstrating the leg slide on the floor. Remember that Chris is 26 weeks post-surgery. You may need to scoot toward the center of bed in order to have room to safely perform this exercise. Lie on your back with legs fully extended. Slide one leg out to the side as far as you can. Slide the leg back into the starting midline position. Do not cross your legs or the midline of your body. Keep your knees straight and your toes pointed upward toward the ceiling during the entire movement. Using a slick surface such as a thick trash bag or a cookie sheet beneath your heel helps to decrease the friction between you and the bed, making the movement easier. Do not lift your leg or allow your knee to bend up during the movement. Your entire leg should remain in contact with the bed during the movement. Remember to perform each exercise 10 repetitions two times per day. We will now be demonstrating short arc quads or mini kicks. Lie on your back in bed. Place a firm roll approximately 8 to 10 inches in diameter, such as a pillow, a large coffee can, or an unopened two liter bottle of soda with a towel wrapped around it under your knee so that there is a slight bend in the knee. Make sure your leg is relaxed on the roll. Slowly lift your foot from the bed and straighten your bent knee. Only straighten your knee. Do not lift your entire leg off of the supporting surface. Hold for five seconds, then slowly lower the foot back down to the surface and relax. Like with all of the exercises, please be sure you are not holding your breath. Your opposite leg may be relaxed in the comfortable position of your choosing. 
Remember to perform each exercise 10 repetitions two times a day. Barnes Jewish Hospital and Washington University Physicians are your partners in your journey to lead you back to a healthier lifestyle with your new joint. If at any time you have questions, please visit barnesjewish.org or contact your orthopedic surgeon's office. In addition, I want to thank Mr. Simons for helping us demonstrate these exercises. Thank you, and remember having the best strength for your new joint begins before your surgery and continues post-surgery.